almost say sort of in the same ballpark in talking about substances. Medical marijuana has been passed in Ohio and is now legal in Ohio, but the standards haven't been set yet, so technically not that legal. So what should be the focus of these standards, and what would you lobby for uh, if elected or, or re-elected? I believe you're first on this one. Well, you know, I think that there are some problems with the medical marijuana law that's been passed. Um, I agree that there needs to be some more research on it to see if it is a viable medication. But we have, obviously, a procedure for that. It's called the FDA. All of our other drugs go through that procedure to make sure that, number one, they're safe for everybody, uh, and number two, that they are, you know, that the efficacy is there, that they actually work. Um, and I think that marijuana should not be held to any kind of a different standard simply because of its popularity. It needs to be held to a scientific standard. Um, with regards to the current medical marijuana law, I, uh, what I would recommend is that we change three things about it. Um, and this is, first of all, the THC content can go up to 35% and it can be basically decided by the prescribing physician. Well, you know, the current marijuana on the street typically is about 15% THC and people get plenty high off of that. Can you imagine the, you know, the, the kind of high that's going to happen? I mean, marijuana is a hallucinogenic. If you go up to 35%, that's really strong marijuana. The second piece is, and in a lot of other states, they only pass a limit to say a 5% THC content or 3% THC content, so people are not using it to get high. The second piece is that it can be prescribed for chronic pain. <laughs> this is exactly what led to our current narcotic problem with the prescription pills. Um, and then the third piece is that the medical board, in my opinion, needs to have complete control over how the doctors prescribe it. Uh, we don't want to get in, again, to another situation like the prescription painkillers where the medical board is not able to say, uh, you know, these are the specific illnesses that uh, this drug can be prescribed for and either expand that or narrow it as they find out more about the drug. Ms. Harsha. Okay, I've been aware for a long time that medical marijuana would be a wonderful way to go as opposed to many of the prescription drugs that are used now. It has, as uh, as far as I've been able to figure out, has never killed anybody using marijuana. Not even those who abuse it, and we're not talking about that kind of thing now. It's actually probably less dangerous than alcohol. So I have actually been in favor of, of being able to have medical marijuana uh, for, for a while. I don't think that uh, it's that hard, although the, actually I believe a lot of the big corporations have prevented research that should have been done a long time ago. I think you could get some information by studying how it's been working out in Colorado and Washington State, where they have legal marijuana and have had it for a while now, uh, to be able to study the kinds of results. They're, they're, they're allowed to have recreational marijuana, which is a whole different story, as I, as I pointed out. But uh, there, too, they have different grades. They are educated as to what they're you know, able to use and that sort of thing. And I do think that uh, if it's prescribed by a doctor and controlled and kept down, that it needs to not be so worried about. I, I do think that we need some guidelines and I think that's a good thing. I understand why the Finley Council's having trouble trying to get settled on the, on the item. It's, it's a difficult topic to, to figure out the regulations are right at the beginning. But I, I think it should be solvable and I think uh, get enough people on it, it'll be, it'll be good. Okay. Next question is uh, related to medical marijuana. And Mary, you mentioned uh, the city of Finley. Uh, they are considering an indefinite uh, ban on medical mar marijuana. Considering though the majority of Ohioans have said in polls they are in favor of medical marijuana, do you believe the city council's response is appropriate? And if so, uh, should home rule apply in this instance? Well, it's my understanding that the uh, difficulty for the city is that they don't want it grown here or sold here, maybe. They're not sure yet. Um, I do think that we ought to be doing whatever the rest of the state is doing. And uh, it's, there's some economic opportunity in it. If, if some others can be growing it, I think probably someone in family should be able to do that too. But uh, no, I don't think that uh, we should be off on our own on that. Um, well, I think that the city of Finley, I mean, 
they have home rule and they need to make that decision. And that decision is up to council, it's not up to me or you know, at the state level. I think they need to make that decision. But let me just say a couple things about marijuana. You know, marijuana is not a safe drug. And I think uh, you know, if you look at the studies, if you look at a brain scan of somebody that's been using marijuana habitually versus somebody that's not, you can clearly see that their brain activity is depressed. As a matter of fact, people that continually use marijuana, their IQ will be lowered approximately uh, eight IQ points. So you go from an average IQ of about 100 down to 92, which then puts you in the dull category. Uh, so this is not a safe drug to use long term. Um, the second piece is that people become addicted to it. Uh, as a matter of fact, in our area, the number one admittance for addiction is, is alcohol. If you go down to Southeast Ohio, the number one admittance for addiction is heroin. But if you go to uh, Cincinnati, the number one admittance in Cincinnati is actually addiction to marijuana. And so, you know, these drugs are not safe for kids to use. Um, and they, I, they're not good for our workforce. I can tell you one of the problems that uh, people, uh, all the employers tell me in our community is that they'd like to hire 10 more people. And then they immediately, the next sentence out of their mouth is, and I can't find people that can pass the drug test to be able to hire. I'd like to hire 10 people, but I can't pass, uh, have people pass the drug test. So I think that this, uh, you know, quite frankly, is only gonna get worse as we go down this path. Um, unless we're able to make sure that, uh, that, that this, that this uh, drug is used for very specific medical purposes and it's tightly controlled. And I also want to say, uh, the other issue that I have with the medical marijuana bill is that they allow vaping. And I don't know about you, but I don't vape any of my medication currently, and that's another objection that I have to the way that uh, this is working in Ohio.